Before we start discussing coding, let us say a few words about what is involved in learning how to code. Probably the most important thing that needs to happen for you to stay the course is for you to get interested and stay interested in coding. This would be different for different people. Some people would enjoy putting together projects and seeing a result at the end. Other people might enjoy the language itself and then seeing how everything works under the hood and getting excited about that. But the point is that you have to find what does it for you so that you have something which pulls you forward because unfortunately when you learn to code there is a lot of frustration that gets involved on the way. The next thing is to fully understand that to become a coder, you have to spend a lot of time practicing on your own, getting stuck, getting unstuck. There is just no substitute for that. So be aware that a part of the process would be that practice on your own portion. And then the third thing that needs to happen is that you need to get a solid foundation of how everything works in the background because when you first start coding, you would not understand how many moving parts are in the language in the background. And unless you understand this and learn this, you would always have a hard time getting to the next level. You probably have noticed that I have split up the screen in two halves. You have the left hand side and the right hand side. Well, the left hand side is meant to represent the bits of the learning process where you would be on your own, coding on your own, maybe working on your own personal projects, getting stuck, getting unstuck. You would have to become an expert Googler in order to be a coder. So learning from the mistakes of others, finding solutions quickly, this is actually a very important part of the process. And something else that is quite important is for you to get a learner mentality so that you start enjoying the process of getting from a place where you don't understand something to a place where you understand it. Keep in mind that there is a lot of frustration on the way. It is very easy for us to feel dumb and insecure and to blame yourself for not getting something, but Every coder out there goes through that process constantly. So you have to be aware that there is just so much to learn. You cannot have everything memorized. And part of the process of coding is getting comfortable with the idea that there are many things that you would not know and many things you would not understand. And you just have to spend the time to get there. Now, when we speak of understanding, we get to the right hand side of, of the screen. Now, this is where you would spend time learning stuff. So this doesn't involve getting stuck. This actually involves finding out information. So understanding how programs work in the background. This is a big one. So what actually happens under the hood when your code is being run? Getting a good solid foundation of these things would really kind of propel the way you move forward. Speaking of JavaScript in particular, understanding how JavaScript works under the hood. What exactly happens in the JavaScript engine so that the code does what it does? What is the cause of many bugs, for example, that we typically encounter in our code? What are the potential areas of confusion? There are many parts of JavaScript which are not easy to learn at first and you just have to spend the time to understand how everything works. And this is where books and courses and this particular course come into play. They are mostly going to be operating on the right hand side of, of the screen. So building a solid foundation, kind of getting a feeling for how everything works. And having said that, you do have to be aware that the bit on the left hand side of the screen is not going to go away. In order to learn to code, you have to code. So self-practice, 
is extremely important. Getting stuck and unstuck is extremely important. The actual process of getting bugs and removing bugs is what is going to teach you a whole lot about the language and is the bit which ultimately would propel you forward.